The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Exodus. The Amalekites then came and attacked Israel at Rephidim. Moses said to Joshua, Pick some men, and tomorrow morning go out and engage Amalek. I, for my part, shall take my stand on the hilltop with the staff of God in my hand. Joshua did as Moses had told him and went out to gauge Amalek, while Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. As long as Moses kept his arms raised, Israel had the advantage. When he let his arms fall, the advantage went to Amalek. But Moses' arms grew heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him. And on this he sat with Aaron and Hur, supporting his arms on each side. Thus his arms remained unwavering till sunset, and Joshua defeated Amalek, putting their people to the sword. In our response, from Psalm 121, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where is my help to come from? My help comes from Yahweh, who made heaven and earth. May he save your foot from stumbling. May he, your guardian, not fall asleep. You see, he neither sleeps nor slumbers, the guardian of Israel. Yahweh is your guardian, your shade, Yahweh at your right hand. By day the sun will not strike you, nor the moon by night. Yahweh guards you from all harm. Yahweh guards your life. Yahweh guards your comings and goings, henceforth and forever. In our second reading from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to Timothy. You must keep to what you have been taught and know to be true. Remember who your teachers were and how, ever since you were a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures. From these you can learn the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is inspired by God and useful for refuting error, for guiding people's lives and teaching them to be upright. This is how someone who is dedicated to God becomes fully equipped and ready for any good work. Before God and before Christ Jesus, who is to be judge of the living and the dead, I charge you in the name of His appearing and of His kingdom. Proclaim the message and welcome or unwelcome, insist on it. Refute falsehood, correct error, give encouragement, but do all with patience and with care to instruct. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Then Jesus told them a parable about the need to pray continually and never lose heart. There was a judge in a certain town, he said, who had neither fear of God nor respect for anyone. In the same town there was also a widow who kept on coming to him and saying, I want justice from you against my enemy. For a long time he refused, but at last he said to himself, Even though I have neither fear of God nor respect for any human person, I must give this widow her just rights since she keeps pestering me, or she will come and slap me in the face. And the Lord said, You notice what the unjust judge has to say. Now will not God see justice done to his elect if they keep calling to him day and night, even though he still delays to help them? I promise you, he will see justice done to them and done speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find any faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord.